Good afternoon and welcome to another episode of the Keswick Ripple Podcast. My name is Jim Lang. I'm the Director of Guest Services here at America's Keswick. And each week we want to bring you a testimony that we hope encourages your heart and life. One of the most dynamic parts of our ministry is that when a man or woman comes into one of our programs and is radically changed by the gospel of Jesus Christ, they are then sent back out to their families, their churches, and their communities, and God uses them in a mighty way. And so today I want to introduce you to Will. Will is a graduate of the Colony of Mercy. He's currently in our discipleship program, and we are just so blessed to, to be joined by Will today. So, Will, thank you for taking some time to share with us today. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Cool. And so why don't you start out by telling us a little bit what life was like before the Colony? Uh, I grew up in a house of abuse and neglect. At an early age, I was taken away and uh, put in uh, to different homes with different family members where I, I encountered the same kind of abuse. Um, I rebelled and got involved with drugs like uh, weed, cigarettes, alcohol, the latter. And um, soon after, I, I was placed into, uh, uh, as a teen, I was placed into foster care and and uh, the rate and rage of my addiction after um, expanded and and uh, progressively got worse and uh, almost took me out. And it uh, got me um, to a point where I, I worked and lived around getting high and uh, I would never admit it. So how did you hear about the colony? What finally made you decide to come? Um, I come to find out uh, about the colony through loved ones. Um, the first time I was here uh, was for surface reasons. Um, though I believed in God, uh, my heart, mind, and spirit wasn't in the right place. Um, so uh, many months later, I had to ask to come back because uh, I was still led to sin. And um, because that wasn't God's intention, um, he allowed me um, to come back to Keswick uh, with open arms. And uh, here I am. And so what has been this time around, what has been the most challenging part of being in the colony? Um, the most challenging um, uh, part of the, my time here being in the colony was learning who I am without uh, being high or um, in, in my addiction. And so uh, I've learned to use this challenge as an opportunity. Um, and through that, um, I've learned that uh, uh, I've come closer to the Lord and myself. And what are, what are some of, what's like the main thing that God has really kind of pressed on your heart while, while you were here? Um, the, the main thing has been much, much like uh, the moment in, in Luke 5.5. 5. Um, and so Simon answered, Master, uh, I've toiled all night and caught nothing, but at your word, I will let down the nets. And so... God's teaching me that um, to trust his word and timing as well as be obedient to him. And so you, you graduated the, the four-month program and you decided to, to extend and stay on, on for discipleship. What kind of went into that decision-making process? Um, well, first of all, I, I'm very um, serious about my recovery. Um, I've been granted a second chance at life, and so I chose to stay here so that I can continue to grow alongside him, um, share my experience, and um, serve the community that helps support me. Awesome. And so, how has how has God used discipleship to kind of grow you in in your walk with Him? Um, discipleship is, is is a wonderful program. Um, it's allowed me to link up with an encouraging and like minded people, as well as uh, be a safe place for me to practice my faith. Awesome. And so um, more than likely, there's someone who's watching this podcast today who's struggling with addiction. What would you say to them today? Um, ultimately, I mean, the, the most important thing is that um, you're not alone. And when you realize God is all you have, um, God is all you need. Awesome. Well, Will, thank you for sharing a little bit of your testimony. We hope that Will's story is an encouragement to your heart and life. It is. We, we want you to, to share this and, and like it on Facebook. And we will see you next week. Have a great day.